There are default custom zones within the Guardian for public and private address spaces. So let's take a look at how to rename them to give them a custom name. And as a bonus, let's take a look also at how to set them back to their default values. Let's go. Okay, so on my Guardian here, I jump across to Administration and to Zone Configurations. And you can see here that we have two zones here on screen, one named uh, Internet and one named Undefined, which are the fallback zones for public and private nodes. And you can click on the Edit button and change the name to suit. Uh, let's call this Internet 3, just because and hit save and you can see the zone name has updated there. Now for some reason I need to change that back and I remove the three and go save, it says hey that zone already exists. Let's take a look at how this works and how to get around it. So the first thing we'll look at is how to set these zone names using the CLI. So here I am in the CLI and using my up arrow like I, like I do, um, I bring back the command that I've, that I've already used. So we've got here conf.user configure vi virtual image zones because this relates to network zones. Default because that's the, the zone we're looking at. It's the default fallback zones. In this case, public with a lowercase p. Now if we change that to private, we're now looking at the private zones, the fallback for the private zones. And you can see here I've got public with a capital P. That's the name that I want to change this to. So when I hit enter, I get my success message and let's go through and prove it. Let's prove that it worked. So I've changed back to my zone configurations here and you can see that the zone name has now changed to public, um, which is what we wanted, right? We went from internet three, now we've gone to public. But again, if I just want to change this back to internet and I hit save, again, I've got this zone name already exists. So how do we fix that? Let's take a look, I'll show you. The next part of this, we're going to drop out into a terminal program and take a look at how this changes in the n2os.conf.user file and what changes we need to make to restore the behavior back to the default. Let's look. So here I am in my terminal program and I'm going to use the nano text editor to edit the n2os.user.conf file. Now if you take a look at the last four lines of this file, um, you'll see that these are the commands that we've done in previous um, videos. And the very last one, VI Zones Default Public, capital P, Public, that's the entry that we just made. So to get this back, to get the um, default public fallback zone back to its default name of internet, all you have to do is delete this line. So we delete the line, we write the changes out, and exit. Now what you have to do is you have to restart the into OS subsystem. So into OS, stop all and wait. And then we do into OS, start all. And the start always takes a little bit longer um, as the timed jobs begin and the web server spins back up again. So while this is restarting, you'll notice that on my Guardian here, I've got the slow connection box up. That's basically saying that the web application running in Chrome here cannot speak to the web server at the far end. So um, yeah, it's an indication that something's not quite right. So, and we know that because we know that we're restarting the system. So that's a handy thing to know about that slow connection box too. If it's showing up, there might be something deeper to look at. Okay, so you can see here, our, uh, all of our jobs have restarted. We're back at the, um, the root prompt. So we flip back over to the Guardian. And we'll do a refresh here. And if all things are fair and equal, we've now got our default names back on our, on our zones. And that's all you need to do. Dead simple.